Hi everyone. Uh, today we are going to see an important topic from the psychiatric nursing that is a mental health team. The teamwork it is very much important in any setting like that in psychiatry also different team members or the different professionals or different disciplines they will be work together for the achievement of uh, patient care and the goal of patient care. So while coming to this mental health team, it is otherwise called as multidisciplinary approach or interdisciplinary approach also. So there are three important professionals. They work together uh, and they formulate the core team members of mental health team. That is a psychiatry, psychiatric nursing and psychiatric social worker. So now we are going to see one by one. Come to the first one, that is a psychiatrist. So we have to see who is a psychiatrist. So psychiatrist will be a doctor. He should be a doctor. That means he has to be completed MBBS. After that, he has to undergo for a, a postgraduate diploma or degree in the field of psychiatric medicine. Should have a licensure and have a uh, and he has to be undergo for a residential training in psychiatric setup. And he will be considered or he will be the team member of uh, mental health team and uh, he'll be the leader of mental health team. He's having the roles and responsibility like uh, he'll be diagnosing the patient, prescribing the various treatment to the patient. It may be the psychopharmacology or it may be ECT or different types of treatment. Come to the ne next person or the second person, he'll be a clinical psychologist. So we'll see his qualification. A clinical psychologist should complete his master's degree or doctoral degree in the field of uh, clinical psychology. And what will be his responsibility? So he has to, uh, he will be diagnosing the uh, different types of mental disorder and he'll help the uh, psychiatrist in uh, in uh, assessing or uh, in diagnosing the disease condition. Apart from this one, he will be giving guidance and counseling to the psychiatric patients also. Come to the next person and the important person and which is related to our field. He will be, he or she will be a psychiatric nurse clinical specialist. So we'll see their qualification. A psychiatric nurse clinical specialist should undergo for a master's degree in psychiatric nursing and should have a registration and the, what is their responsibilities. So they will be uh, uh, actively okay, participating in the primary, secondary and tertiary prevention and she takes up the responsibility of education, training and research in the field of, field of mental health care. Come to the next person which is related to the nursing that is a registered nurse. So who is a registered nurse? A registered nurse will see the qualification. They should undergo for a three years of uh, general nursing and diploma course or two years of post basic uh, post basic course or four year of bachelor degree and they should have a licensure. Licensure in the sense they have to register in the state nursing council and they will be uh, actively participating in a direct care okay they are having certain responsibility that means they will be directly giving care to the patient direct care provider they will be and they will give a holistic approach to the patient holistic approach in the sense we are considering the individual as a whole and all the care the spiritually mentally socially psychologically all the care they will be giving to the patient come to the next important person a psychiatric social worker so we will see their qualification so what is the qualification of a psychiatric social worker they have to undergo for a master's degree in a psychiatric social worker then we will be seeing their uh, responsibility so the psychiatric social worker they have to assess the fam individual family and community support system and they will be actively planning the discharges and they will be having the role in follow up care of the psychiatric patient as a part of their rehabilitation so these are the important members in the uh, mental health team and now we'll move to the psychiatric para professional there are some other professionals they will be helping in the mental health team so the first and important person will be an ect technician so while coming to the ect technician they have to undergo for six to nine month course in ect technology and what is the responsibility they have to arrange the ect machine and they have to help the anesthetist or with the help of psychiatrist they will be arranging the ect machine and they will be giving the ECT to the patient. Come to the other members, it may be an occupational therapist. So occupational therapist, uh, they have to undergo for a master's degree in occupational therapy and their main role will be uh, give providing vocational training to the psychiatric patient. Come to the next person, he is a recreational therapist. So the recreational therapist, what is their qualification? They will be having a 
bachelor or master's degree in recreational therapy and the responsibility will be they have to provide leisure time activity to the or the recreational activity to the patient psychiatric patient come to the next person there will be a diversional play therapist so what is their qualification so the diversional play therapist will be uh, qualified with a bachelor degree or master's degree in diversional therapy and what is the responsibility so they will be mainly giving play therapy to the patient in helping different play materials or toys and will be see they will be seeing that uh, patient's reaction towards different types of play and come to the next person and they will be the clergyman. Clergyman is nothing but they are a spiritual person. Most of the psychiatric setup, it will be attached with a chapel or temple. So the spiritual persons, the priest we can say. So they will be providing, they will be maintaining the spiritual needs of the psychiatric patient. And come to the last person, they will be the psychiatric nursing aides or auxiliary person. So we can say they are the attenders, ward boys. So they will be helping the nurses and other uh, mental health team members in arranging the articles, maintaining the patient, etc. So these are all the psychiatric team members or the members of mental health team or multidisciplinary approach, we can say. So hope you are uh, you are all understood regarding this one. Thank you.